Okay, guys, we're back with another video. This can be really insane. We're going to go over a couple things actually that have massive buying levels. We're going to go over which ones I'm looking to buy heavy. We're going to go over some penny stocks, regular stocks. We're going to go over Mullen, SoFi. Don't worry, I got AMC and GME in here. I know you guys are going to talk about that one as there is getting pushed. Remember, don't chase prices, but I'll give you guys some levels that I do see that can be potential plays. So make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you are new, and let's go straight into it. So, AMC is the first one we're going to talk about right off the bat. Let's go ahead and uh, type in the ticker symbol, ticker symbol AMC. They are getting some push today. Let's see. All right, so right there, AMC, ticker symbol AMC. Now, they are getting some push today. And I think some of the reasons are right enough the company's 52 week lows, doesn't could possibly do the short covering. Now, that's probably what it is, okay? It's probably some short covering uh since the sell-off happened right it's probably some short covering now the thing is while this is pushing like say have say people have shorts in this right now let me go to the five day five minute chart say they have shorts in this right now this push can lead to something really big that's why this basically the title of the video is insane because this could lead to something really big if it continues to push because imagine they have shorts they're gonna have to cover those shorts if amc keeps pushing higher okay so that is something that we want to watch out for but I do see a nice level that I'll be looking at. And the level is kind of already active, to be honest with you. So right around 1160, 1160, yeah. So I'll put it around 11, actually 1150. So 1150 is a buying pressure level that I'm looking at for today. Now you want to be watching this because like I told you guys, it all depends on that secondary run. So we have that first run, right? We have that nice push up. It went from around $9.80 to about high of 1360, right? So 40% gain within a couple minutes. Now we have that pullback. It could be a secondary run in here, which like it already kind of hit the level right there. But I'm kind of looking at that level to push it higher up into the 14 ranges because I do think we have resistance right around that $15 range that we do need to watch out for, okay? So I feel like that might kind of slow down the run. That's why I wanted to put this one first because I kind of want you guys to watch that resistance level at that $15 range. Okay, so if pressure does come in here, looking to take it up to about $15, and that'll be about a 30% gain. So still a nice gains we can get on AMC. We just got to make sure those levels confirm. Second one, GameStop Corporation, ticker symbol GME, ticker symbol GME. This one is pushing, but this one actually looks harder on the downside than AMC does. Okay, see how AMC, little, little push down, nothing too crazy. But on GameStop, it actually looks a little more heavy on the downside and very sporadic too, jumping up, like gapping up kind of. So looking for a little more pullback on GameStop. Now, the thing about GameStop is the level isn't too clear. It's more clear on AMC. So I would probably go heavier on AMC than GameStop. So let's go ahead and turn that level green. So around that $90 level on GameStop is kind of where I'm looking for that buying pressure to occur. Now, do not forget, I am still bearish in this market, okay? I am not bullish by no means, but there's the, there is small opportunities to trade some upside if these levels confirm, right? But that doesn't mean I'm turning bullish. I'm still bearish, okay? I, like I said, I will let you guys know whenever I do turn bullish, that's not right now. I'm still bearish, okay? So GameStop, ticker symbol, GME, buying level right around $90. It did hit a resistance level today, and I think the next resistance is probably like around 115 so I think in there, we might see some more resistance, kind of how you see some resistance right there, kind of pulling price back down in that resistance. I feel like we'll see that around that 115 area. So from 90 to 115, you can still get a lot of profit, about a 28% gain. OK, so make sure you watch out for those. But those are the main levels I'm kind of looking out for GameStop. Next one, Sundell Growers, ticker symbol SNDL, ticker symbol SNDL. Now, this is a penny stock, so make sure you watch the risk management. But I actually like this one a lot. We will need some more push, okay? So something very specific will need to happen. So just make sure you pay attention. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for being on the channel. If you are new, my name is Will, and I give you guys key levels on the market every day. I have a second channel, Will Knowledge Crypto, and a third channel, Will Knowledge Forex. Make sure you go subscribe to them. So Sundell Growers, SNDL. Nice push today, right? Nice push today. But if you look at most stocks, most stocks are kind of going up right now, right? So it's not really uh, stock-specific. Now, if it was Sundell Pacific, 
then that means maybe some news was pushing it or something like that. But since it's like kind of like all stocks going up, nothing too special, but I like the level that it is coming to. So right around 39 cents, we want this to break today, okay? Because this is a buying level. So we want this to break today. And then I'll be looking for this. So push up, right? So I want it to break today. And then I'll be looking for it pull down back to it. Now this level is active today. And depending on where it closes after market, I might update you guys on a Sundell new buying level, or I might not. It all depends on how it uh, is after market close. So I'll, I'll update you guys if I need to. But for right now, looking for that push above, looking for that pull down, looking for buying pressure to come back in there. And then I really feel we could take this up to like 50 cents. So about 50 cents will kind of be like a target, maybe like to like 48, 49. So we'll kind of see how it uh, acts in this like 47 to 50 range. But overall, the 47 cents, 20 percent gain and the 50 is about a 28 percent gain. So looking for about a 20 something percent gain on Sundell. But that buying pressure will need to occur there and it will need to pass that today. OK, so very specific. It needs to pass it, not like pass it like this and drop back lower. It needs to like have something like this above it. OK, so some real nice pressure kind of pushing above that 39 cents area. Next one is Roblox. OK, ticker symbol RBLX. Let me. Let me go down real quick. Let me and make sure you join the team if you want to know when I'm buying and selling for options and shares. We did like over 170 uh, percent this week, only on three trades. We did over 170 percent. I'll actually show you guys that right now. Here goes all the signals we sent out this week. If you're not on the team, I really don't know why, but you should be joining first thing in the description. So this was a SQQ play. This is like an inverse of the QQ. So if you think the market's going to go down, this is a good inverse to buy shares. Sold half of those, 13% gain. Sold some more put options, 10% gain. Sold some more spy put options, 45% gain. Sold another 20% uh, of those spy options, 30% gain. Long-term buys. Did an Apple play. Sold 25% for 10% gain. Uh, oh, remember, whenever I send you guys options, I send a month, strike, the price I paid, okay? So sold those 10% gain, so another 25%, 20% gain. Sold another 25% for 17% gain, and then sold the rest for a 53% gain. Then sold the rest of the inverse for 22% gain. So many gains. Then we did an AMD put yesterday. We did some long-term buys. And then today, sold half of those 38% gain, and then sold the other half for a 66% gain. So you can add all those gains up and see how much gains we did over the week. Did about three plays this week. One of the other plays was from last week. So probably did over 100 to 200% in gains on just three plays. Make sure you guys join the team. First link in the description to know what I'm buying and selling. Very, very good. And then if you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join that VIP and back to the video. Okay, so now that you see that we made over 170% on three plays, make sure you join the team. First link in the description. And if you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join VIP. Okay, but make sure you join the team. First link in the description. So Roblox, let's go ahead and make this ticker symbol a little bit bigger. Right there, okay, RBLX. Now with this one, moving nicely, okay? Had his earnings, had a nice push up, pull down, push up. We're looking for that pull down again. But why I like it is I'm looking at around $26 for that buying level. Now this buying level is active already, okay? So if it pulls down here to 26, that is a potential buy. If it pulled down to 26, that is a potential buy today to send prices higher to around like 32 in that area. Now remember, I am still bearish, but if some opportunity presents itself on the upside, I will trade it, but I'm mostly uh, still bearish, okay? So whenever I turn bullish, don't worry, I will let you guys know. So about a 23% gain right there that I'm kind of looking at for Roblox, but we need that pressure at that 26th level. And some of these stocks are just doing some normal retracements higher. So it's not like I'm turning bullish or anything like that. It's just normal retracements higher. But on those normal retracements higher, we can actually trade those, okay? And also, make sure you get the merch. Make sure you uh, follow me on Instagram at will.knowledge, will.knowledge, and uh, just let me know if you want a shirt, okay? So Mullen, let me type out this ticker symbol. And it's crazy because uh, the level that I had on Mullen, Mullen, I said Mullen, actually hit today. So let me go out. There you go. Mullen, ticker symbol, M-U-L-M. I gave you guys a buying level right around, what, 77 cents or so. Where did pressure come in? Let me go down to the five minute. Let's see. Look at that. Beautiful pressure came off it. Buying pressure came back down. Entry was here. Went up. Play was there. Okay. 
So hopefully you guys got in on that buying level. It went perfect to script. I did not play it. Full disclosure, I did not play it. Uh, we were doing AMD puts this morning for like over a 60 to 70% gain. So, well, you saw that on the signal part. So I was mainly focused on AMD, trying to hit my target. Got about a 70% gain on that. So I wasn't really looking at too much other stuff. But Mullen did hit pretty good. But the thing is, that level is exhausted. Okay, that level is exhausted. The new level that I'm kind of looking out for, and it kind of needs to do the same thing as um, Roblox is 92 cents, but it needs to push above this 92 cents area, okay? Because right now it's kind of like hanging around it, kind of below it. So we need that push above it, then that can activate it, right? And then we look for that pull down back to it. And in there, we'll kind of look for that buying pressure to send it up. And my first exit will probably be right around like a dollar and 20. So like I said, as it's steadily dropping, I'm going to keep giving you guys buying levels because I feel once one of these buying levels hit, we're going to be moving pretty fast, right? So that'll be about a 30% gain on Mullen. It just needs to pass this today. And if anything, I'll probably update you guys um, after the market closes if these levels change. Next one. I haven't talked about this one really uh, in a long time. Lord Town Motors. Lord's Town Motors Ride. Ticker symbol R-I-D-E. Let me put this ticker symbol out a little bit right here there you go ride r-i-d-e so nice push it pushed a lot after market came all the way back down normal hours that's why we don't try to trade after market or pre-market is not necessary they're having a big push today okay big 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 push today now i do see a nice buying level okay now i think they're pushing up like why they're having this big push is because they had a foxconn factory sales growth okay I think that's why probably, probably they're having a little push there because of uh, Apple supplier, Foxconn, that's that. Okay. Now with that push, I'm looking at about a dollar 90. So I do want some pullback, right? We don't want to be trying to chase that run or trying to buy high prices. It came from a dollar 62 and it went up to about 220. That's about a 36% gain. But where I'm looking to potentially buy it is cutting that in half. So kind of taking some of that premium out right here around a dollar 90 and could really take it up to about like a two dollars and 30 cents two dollars 40 kind of see how it wants to push up there and where resistance comes in but that would be about a 21 percent gain okay last one hope you guys enjoyed the video so far make sure you guys smash that like button subscribe if you are new and any other stocks you guys are looking at make sure you comment them down below make sure you share the video out to your friends and family try and get over 100,000 subscribers that is my goal for this youtube channel and i appreciate it okay so so far Let's go ahead and clear all these levels. Let's go ahead and, oh, let me take that off. What's that? Because I know we're probably around like 11 minutes right now in the video, so I don't want to make it too long. So SoFi right here. Now you guys know I do hold SoFi long term, right? I think right now this is a normal retracement up because it, it was at like, what, $7 or something, and it went all the way down to $4. You guys know I think SoFi is a well over $20 stock. Trade it sideways. So what is this? It's kind of finding support at these levels, at this penny stock level. I told you guys some pressure would start to come in here because they're going to be pushing this to get out of that penny stock range. And we're starting to get a little pressure. Now with SoFi, around $5.85 is a buying level, shorter term buying level. So looking to play it shorter term, I'm looking to hold it too long or anything like that. But the profit I make off that shorter term play will go to the long term shares. So $5.85, looking to take that up to about 7 But it needs to pass it today. For it to be active, it needs to pass it today. So around $5.85 to 7 about a 20% gain. Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking out for so far. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of insane stuff is going on. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.